Okay, I wanted to change my scenery, so welcome now. We're at Christmas Day, and for the most part of Christmas, I actually spent it by myself. Um, yeah, up until like 6 p.m. Um, after 6 p.m. though, it was lots of fun. I really wanted to spend time with a family. That was very important that I went to like somebody's family, somebody's house, um, and it just kind of fellowshiped and experienced like a Christmas dinner or a Christmas lunch or whatever, whenever people meet. So I was able to do that. Um, we went over to um, Alinx's father's house and there I got to um, you know, meet the family, meet all his sisters, their significant others, nieces and nephews, and have some really good food and just um, talk. And actually, the wedding that I am going to go to uh, is his sister's wedding, and that is on the 27th, so on Tuesday. So I got to meet her, and I got to also meet her um, fiance and uh, it was just all really good everybody was really nice um talked to people and i even got a christmas card so at the end got a christmas card from um syndicate records and i've actually met every one of these um young men and they are so dope so nice um, very hospitable. I love their music, so uh, check out Lynx, DJ Obi, uh, Nadu, Blink, and Icon. So those guys are so so dope, and um, check them out. I'll write down their names in the description box so that you guys can do your own research and stuff. But I've actually had lots of good good times with uh, their music and them and. They really helped to make my Nigeria chip amazing. So that's what we did. And um, I'll show you guys right after what my outfit was for uh, Christmas. I changed into my new uh, outfit that I wanted to wear. And then after that, I, um, what did I do? After that was the all black party put on by Tiwa. So Tiwa is a um, from Atlanta actually, so I know him. Tiwa works, and he puts on the Atlanta Great Picnic, which is uh, what he's most known for. But he does a annual party in Lagos every Christmas, uh, and so I was excited to go there. And I actually had a good time. DJ Obi was actually the DJ, so that was fun. And um, yeah. I actually got to meet a lot of people there and I ran into people that I went to college with and it was just a really good time for me so I thoroughly enjoyed myself for Christmas and that was lots of fun so Lagos and Christmas I had a great time I'm so glad that I came during this time and yeah I'm really enjoying myself <laughs> This is the outfit that I'm wearing today. So it's very traditional. And I have some beads that I'm wearing that I got from the beach yesterday. So this is my outfit for today.
so now we are at to the next day and so the day after Christmas here is a holiday and it is called Boxing Day and Boxing Day is a um, British holiday that because um, Nigeria was colonized by the British they've um, accepted and it is a holiday so um, some stores are closed and people don't um, have to go to work it's a day that people are still celebrating people are having parties people are still gift giving the whole nine yards so for me um, I'm like okay there's this online store that I follow from America and I want to try it out and um, so it was called uh, Tiana's Place Empire and I've gone to some stores and some places right around her building but I was like okay I'm for sure gonna go so I tried to go um, I think it was Christmas Eve but I had whatsapped her because I wasn't sure if stores were open because you know different stores have different holiday hours and I just wanted to make sure before I drove um, to her place and she didn't respond to me on whatsapp until very late in the evening it was like almost five so at that point I was like I'm not gonna go because um, rush hour and I just had other plans so I was like okay, I'm not gonna do that but I asked her is she open on either today or if she's open on Monday, I will come. And so she responded, yes, that you know they were open. So I wake up and I get an Uber and I go out there and um, at first I tell my Uber, can you just wait? Because I'm going to need you to take me back after I go shopping. And he said, yes, how much do you need? And I said, you know, 45 minutes. That okay so I'm trying on stuff and I find some things that I like and I settle on this dress that I really like it was green and I'm ready to pay and their POS system isn't working it's like turned off or something so I guess that they were open but not really I mean they had a worker and so we went to a bank um, I was taking on money fine and then it stopped working I guess it ran out of money now it's another bank and then my car's not working so before I thought that I had ran out of money but the bank ATM had ran out of money but I don't think that was the case. I think the case is that I hit my limit. You can only take out um, 200,000 Naira per every 24 hours so I guess the 24 hours combined I have reached my quota and I didn't know it. And so um, I ended up not getting the dress because like I wanted it to wear to the wedding that is tomorrow possibly um, I have a wedding I have a dress getting made as well but it's not going to be delivered until later on that night so I was like let's just look and see or even if it wasn't for the wedding like I'm following this person on Instagram so I wanted to check it out and maybe just buy it for something else like who knows like anniversary party another wedding that I'm gonna go to um, in 2017 you know I'm claiming that my friends are getting married in 2017 should engagement just for me like who knows what it could have been but I was just like you know she's a dope designer I really fancy her work let me go ahead and see but you know I asked the lady that I was working with um, you know can I just take the dress and pay later and she was like, oh, I don't really know you, and I'm not, what do you want me to do? And I'm just like, you know, if your POS system was on and working, you wouldn't even be in this situation. So I ended up not getting the dress, and I actually ended up not coming back to the place ever, like, in my trip, just because I specifically asked if you're going to be open. And I asked both days, were you going to be open Christmas Eve and on Monday? And for them to not explain, that really kind of turned me off. If they would have told me that you know come Tuesday or come Thursday or come whenever or come after the new year I could have waited for all of that because I'm here for so long like it would have been fine but you told me yes I spent my money I spent my time I walked we literally walked from the store down the street to the corner to the ATM like now I'm hot now I'm wasting time like now I'm not actually enjoying my shopping experience so 
I was kind of done with that. And then the next day, I think I got a message saying that, they, that you know, they, I could come and pick up the stuff if I want. But it's like, it's too, it's too little, too late. It's done. But that was that. So then I'm calling um, my tailor because she's, I'm expecting her to be at the house at 5. And now, like, what should have been like a 45-minute shopping thing is taking forever oh and by the way my uber left so i guess he just got tired of waiting and just i don't know he's just gone and so i you know hail a cab and just haggle my how much and he takes me home so before that i'm calling and i'm like you know are you scheduled to be at my house at five like we discussed and she's like yes and then I get home and she's like not there she's not even close to being there she's not even answering her phone so I'm like waiting because like the wedding is tomorrow and even though it's like in the afternoon I feel more comfortable having my dress the day before if there's anything wrong she can fix it and I just like what if she's late again and now I don't have a dress and you know I really want to fit in I don't want to wear anything um westernized or really something traditional something that fits into the Nigerian culture because it's a traditional wedding. If it was a white wedding, maybe I wouldn't stress so much, but like I just really want to make a good impression and I just really want it to fit in. So the you know, what what am I doing now? Like now I'm just waiting because Nelson, aka Blink, he invited me to boxing day at his house and i'm like i want to experience boxing day like now i have plans but i have to wait for her and so she finally comes two hours later she says that her um she ran a data or whatever but she came um she delivered my wedding dress and she delivered my this long yellow skirt and she delivered this cape and let me try them on for you. Um, for the wedding dress, I'll just show a picture of what it looks like um, in the next video because that describes the wedding. So you'll have to wait for that one. But I will show you the cape and the skirt that she made because that's what she dropped off that day. So she made me this skirt. And this is fabric that I picked out from the market. And I wanted a cape. And she definitely delivered. This is my cape. styling in my cape I love it <laughs> and this is my wedding dress so this fabric this part I bought from the market when I went shopping for fabric lace Lagos Island Market and then she added extra so it's supposed to fit like off the shoulder but this is what the dress looks like but you'll have to stay tuned to the next video to see um in pictures and what everything looked like for the wedding so i finally make it to boxing day after she comes and she drops her stuff off and um before i was at Ecoe when she did the measurements and then I was at Victoria Island so um, I guess that she was a little confused even though I told her the address of how long it would take so anyway she came the stuff was fabulous and then I finally went to Boxing Day at Nelson's house so when I get there um, you know they have Christmas lights and I get to meet his parents and you know we talk about 
USA life and stuff like that. And then I go over and sit at a table with like all his friends. And then they bring me food and the fish was bomb. Like I don't even know what kind of fish it was. Let's just say it was catfish. I'm not sure. But it was so good. It was so perfectly seasoned. It was amazing. So I ate all of the food. And then um, malt. It's not malt liquor because there's no liquor in it. But malt drinks are like very popular here. So I had that. Um, I tried that for the first time and it was really tasty and um, we just had a good conversation so when I'm sitting there I'm talking to his friends I'm like meeting all his friends and stuff so that's cool and you know we're just talking about religion and we just have like a really deep conversation about like the characteristics of Jesus and you know hair like wool and stuff like that and one of the um, people that is there his name is John um, he was like kind of taking notes and he was like oh like kind of getting inspired uh you know take my card you should come to the studio and we could create something so guys i'm not a singer so i'm like studio whatever but i take the number and that's that's that and i don't even think anything about it i get ready for the wedding um and that is that because i forgot so at christmas i met this lady super sweet her name is toju and she gave me a makeup lady that's gonna do my guilde as well for the wedding so i am going to be set for this wedding guys i am so excited dress came makeup makeup is going to be great and i have a bag of guilde's from my friend Zalapo, um, she just gave me a whole bunch in multiple colors. So between the variety that she gave me, I'm sure I'll find something that I love and I'm good to go.